And today's tutorial is going to be something that I'm really excited about because it's something that is probably the most requested video I've ever gotten. And that is how to recover photos that have been lost or deleted on your iPhone. So let's get started. So today we're doing things just a little bit differently. Usually when I make videos like this, we have one scenario and then I show you three or four different methods that you can use in order to solve your problem. But today what I'm going to be doing instead is taking you through what I believe are three of the most common situations that you could find yourself in with deleting photos from your iPhone and then giving you the best method in order to solve each problem one by one. So let's get started. So let's get into scenario number one, which is recovering recently deleted photos from your iPhone. So this one is by far the most robust and simplistic of them all. It requires no backups and can be done all right from your iPhone. So a lot of people don't actually know this, but a lot like a computer, there is a place on your iPhone where all of your deleted photos actually go to. And as long as you're within the 40 day time window post deletion, then those photos will be waiting there either to be permanently deleted or recovered. And this recently deleted folder should always be checked anytime you've accidentally recently deleted a photo. So here's how. Go to the photos app, then go to albums, then find the recently deleted folder. Then tap the photo you want to undelete and then hit recover. And it's really as simple as that. You can also select multiple photos at one time to recover them all at once, but you cannot recover the entire contents of the folder all at once, which is kind of a rare scenario, but in case you have thousands of photos, then this method might take a while. But as long as they're all there, they're all intact and 100% able to be recovered. All right, so let's move on to scenario number two, which is recovering permanently deleted photos with no backup. So I would say that this situation is probably the second most common of them all. If you accidentally wipe your phone, reset your phone, or even get a new phone, your entire photo and video library can be deleted like without warning. And to fix this and actually have a shot at getting our photos back, we need to employ a piece of software on a computer in order to have any shot at all. And that's why I brought my Mac up here because we need a piece of software that's gonna be powerful enough it's going to be able to dig into our phone and bring our photos back up to the surface so that we can use them again. And the software that I always use for situations just like this is Disk Drill. So Disk Drill is an extremely robust recovery suite that's built for both Mac and PC. It includes a tool that's specifically built for recovering from iPhones, which is great. And it's also free to try so that you can actually get an idea of exactly what is recoverable from your phone before you take the plunge and purchase a license. It puts all the tools and power you need right at your fingertips, and I'm going to include it down below in a link in the description below. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and download and get started with Disk Drill. So once you've downloaded and installed Disk Drill, then go ahead and open it up. Now, once you open Disk Drill for the first time, you will have a few tutorials and guides and things like that that will guide you through the process. But once you open it, it will bring you to the storage device list on the data recovery panel, which is essentially just a collection or a list of all the different drives and devices that are connected to your Mac. Okay, so now at this point, if you have not already, go ahead and connect your iPhone to your computer. Now at this point, all you have to do is select the phone, and then click search for lost data. So of course, depending on how much storage your phone actually has on it, this may take a little bit of time, but I'm gonna come back once the scan is finished and we'll pick up from there. All right, so the scan has finished. And now since we are actually looking for photo files, we can sort by photo on the left-hand side right here, which will show us all the photos that were found on the phone during the scan. And so at this point, once you find the photos you wanna recover, go ahead and put a check mark next to them, which will select them then click recover, choose your save location, like your desktop, and click okay. And once the recovery process is finished, you can go to your save location and all of your photos will be in a folder ready for you to use. All right, so last scenario, this is a big one, and that is using an iCloud backup to restore photos to an iPhone that has been reset to factory settings or otherwise just completely wiped. So unfortunately, this method cannot be used without an iCloud backup. However, most of the time, whenever you set up an Apple ID, it actually gives you a little bit of iCloud storage that's typically just enough for the necessities within an iCloud backup that typically contains a lot of photos. So there's a good chance that you have at some point performed an iCloud backup, and if you actually know that you use iCloud on a regular basis, then this method is right up your alley. 
So when your iPhone backs up to iCloud, what it does is it backs up each category of information and data as a whole, which can then be pulled from individually during an iCloud restore, depending on what you need back. So if you just need your photos, but all your contacts and apps and all that stuff is intact, then you can just pull the photos out of your iCloud backup and they'll be there like they never left. And so essentially by turning on the iCloud photos feature, all of your photos will be pulled down from the cloud and will populate right inside your phone. It's pretty cool. So here's how to do it. Open the settings app, then tap iCloud and go to photos and then turn on iCloud photos. Now, of course, depending on your internet speed and how many photos you have, it may take a little while to populate all the photos. In fact, it actually does take a little bit of time for it to actually start showing up the first few photos on your phone. So if it doesn't work right away, then don't be scared. Just give it a little bit of time, let it load, and it should work. And so with that being said, while all of those are the most common scenarios and situations that I have come across, as well as others that I've heard of from other people, that's not an exhaustive list. I can't go over everything. And so if you do need to see a more exhaustive list of all the methods at length, I've written a guide post about it that I will link down below in the description. And that is going to be it for today's tutorial. I really hope you guys did enjoy it, found it useful and helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate a like on this video as well as a comment if you wanna see more videos from me. Also, if you have any issues, make sure to let us know down below in the comments or you can reach out to us through our contact page. We always enjoy hearing from you guys all the time. But with that being said, my name is Andrew, and until next time, thank you for watching.